Welcome to East Haddam Today. I'm Gene Mayhew, and today we ask a question of Mark Walters, who is running for first selectman. Mark, given our current economic climate, with the potential for the state to again decrease funding to our towns, what would your strategy be to keep the taxes down without cutting services in East Haddam? It's the same strategy we followed Gene for the last four years. Uh, we saw that the economy was starting to have trouble four years ago, and we set up to s seriously reduce the great growth rate of our um, budget uh, for the town. And as a result, we've been very creative in trying to cut costs without cutting services. Uh, we've set up interlocal agreements with other towns to share employees. Uh, we just regionalized the dog pound with East Hampton. We share an assessor with Chester. Uh, we have a zoning enforcement officer part-time with East Haddam, part-time with Haddam. Uh, we back each other up to reduce on part-time labor coming in to fulfill when people are on vacation by cross-training in all departments. And next, we're actually going to start looking at partnering even further with the Board of Ed. We presently um, have a tri-board meeting to have the Board of Selectmen, Board of Finance, and the uh, Board of Ed meet prior to the budget and after the audit, which we're about to meet again, so that we can strategize for how to have the best school system and the best town services with the limited funding that we have available. And out of that generates cost-sharing ideas like we recently toured all the tool school grounds the second year in a row with the public works um, director, the superintendent, the principals, um, uh, Walt Parkus in charge of uh, maintenance and grounds, and the different employees, Bob, um, within the business manager of um, the Board of Ed, we all walk together and decide, are there functions that the town could do that would save the school system money? And I think it's that type of thinking and sharing resources that allow us to survive further reductions in state aid and federal aid uh, as we wait for this economy to come back. Thank you, Mark. And remember everyone, supporting your local biz supports your local buzz.